It's been said that a picture is worth a thousand words, and when it comes to data analysis, that is definitely the case. You could have gigabytes of numbers and formulas sitting somewhere in a spreadsheet, but sometimes nothing gets your point across as quickly and effectively as a simple chart or graph. In today's video, I'm going to teach you all the basics of what you need to know about creating charts and graphs in the free and open source software program, LibreOffice Calc. Hey everyone and welcome back. I am the part-time economist and in today's video, I am continuing my quest to make you a spreadsheet superstar. We're talking all about how to create charts and graphs in LibreOffice Calc. Now, I'm going to put timestamps so that you can skip to the part of the video that is most applicable to you. But if you're watching this as a series and you want to kind of follow along with the whole thing, let's take a minute to recap. In some of the previous videos, we've talked about how you are essentially a regional manager for a chain of superstores, and you've got managers that work underneath you. They each have their own store, and in some of the previous videos, we have learned how to sort the data to see which manager is the best performing, which district is the best performing, and we've even sorted by multiple criteria using pivot tables. However, it's getting close to the end of the year, and you have been tasked with preparing a report for your manager. Now, your manager does not have time to sit there and look at data and try to guess what you're trying to tell them. They want a pretty little picture that they can look at in 30 seconds and see what the data is telling them. So, what are we going to give them? We are going to give them a pretty little picture that they can look at in 30 seconds and see what the data is telling them. The first chart that we will create is a simple XY scatter chart, which is great for showing trends. So are the sales trending up? Are they trending down? We're not going to modify the data. We're simply going to use existing data from the spreadsheet to create this. In the second and more advanced example, we're going to create a pie chart to show which managers are contributing the most to the total sales. However, we're going to have to use a pivot table to clean that data. So a little bit more advanced, you get to practice some of the skills from the previous video. So a lot of fun there. Let's start with the basics of creating a simple XY scatter in LibreOffice Calc. Now, there are multiple ways of doing the same thing in LibreOffice Calc. You can actually launch the chart wizard and then input your data, but I find it easiest to create a chart simply by selecting the data beforehand. So in this example, we've got year and total sales. We can either come up here to the chart icon and insert a chart, or we can go over here and click on insert chart. So once the chart wizard launches, you see that we have the option of selecting from a variety of different charts. Now, I'm not going to go through each of these individually because it's pretty simple to look at the type of chart that you want and simply click on it. Everything that I show you as far as editing a chart, changing the title, stuff like that, it applies to any of these, so we don't need to cover each one on its own. So for this example, let's suppose that we want the XY scatter. We will simply click there. We click next and it's asking us for data. Now, like I said, there's multiple ways of doing things. Since we already selected our data, we actually don't need to enter anything into this field. However, there are a couple points to make you aware of. The first is that 90% of the time, I would say your data is going to be in columns. So year sales, 2001, 2002, 2003, sales for 2001, sales for 2002, sales for 2003, right? It's going up and down the page. In some circumstances, I don't know why, but your data might be in rows. So you've got year, 2001, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it goes across the page. If that's the case, all you need to do is select data in rows and it will adjust for that. Obviously, you can see from the preview, it totally messes our chart up because our data is not in rows, it is in columns. So we'll come back here, we will click on data series in columns. Obviously, we are going to leave this box checked that says first row as a label because our first row is a label. That's going to be where we have the year and sales. From here, we can go ahead and click next. 
Again, because we have selected our data, we don't need to worry about anything here. And we have the option of entering a title, subtitle, x-axis, y-axis. We can also enter this once the chart is created, but just to make things easier on myself, I'm going to go ahead and do it now, but I will show you how to edit all of this later on if you decide to do so. Okay, so we have everything entered. We're going to go ahead and click finish and it will create the chart for us. So right off the bat, you see that we have the title sales by year. We've got the Y axis, so that's the up and down. We have sales and then the X axis we have year, but let's suppose we want to make this chart pop just a little bit more. We can go ahead and start editing things. And again, regardless of the chart type you're working with, the editing process is the same. So let's suppose we don't like this where it says sales by year. We can actually see that the year should be capitalized. All we have to do to edit the title is simply click on it, backspace here, and capitalize year. So we're good there. Let's spice it up just a little bit more. Let's suppose that we don't like these blue dots. Let's suppose that we want to change some of them for emphasis. Now, if we want to change the entire data series, we can simply double click and we can change to whatever color we want. Let's go with green in this example. We can change the icon. So whatever you want to do, it's highly customizable. You just have to click through to find what you want, how you want it to appear. But let's do one more thing. Let's suppose that this specific data point, you can see that virtually all of our data points have been trending upward, right? And even 2006, 2008, they've been trending down, but only slightly since this is a major outlier. If we want to draw the manager's attention to this, we're going to want to edit this individual data point. If we want to edit a specific data point we're again going to click on it and once we have clicked on the entire series we're going to click again to select that specific data point we can right click and we're going to format this data point so let's go to format and let's change this to red to show that we had a major decrease there so just a way of making it pop just a way of making it stand out you can do so much more with these charts but again this is the basics right there in and of itself, that will give you a good chart that gets your point across. Now let's move on to a little bit more complicated chart, which is going to be the pie chart. In order to create a pie chart, just like with the previous example, we are going to select our data. However, I want to show you first the wrong way of doing this, and then I'll show you the right way. Because if you're just looking at this, and you're thinking about the previous example, you're probably thinking, okay, I will select all my managers, I will select the sales, and I'm just gonna go up here and I'm going to create a chart off of that data. So we're gonna go ahead, let's go with a pie chart, let's go ahead and finish, and you can see we have a major problem because simply from here, it doesn't recognize that we have two instances of Fred and that Fred's sales should be combined it doesn't realize that we have four instances of Tom. It treats every manager, every cell, as a separate instance, which we do not want. We want to see each manager across all of their stores, what is their total contribution. So let's go ahead, let's get rid of this because what we're gonna have to do is leverage a pivot table and then use the output of the pivot table in creating our chart. And this is gonna save you so much time versus having to go through and add all of these up manually. All right, so let's go ahead and let's just select all of our data. And again, you could select just the columns you want, but just to make it easy, I'm gonna show you by selecting everything. We're going to go to insert a pivot table. We will of course use our current selection and what we want in the row fields, we are going to go ahead and we are going to sort by manager and in the data fields, let's suppose we just want sales. We're going to click OK and what does it do? It automatically calculates the total sales by manager. So you can see here we've got four instances of Tom, but it only shows us one category for Tom because it sums all of his different sales across all of his different stores. So now that LibreOffice Calc has done all the work for us and it summed up all of those different sales, we're simply going to select the data, making sure that we do get those headers in there. And we're gonna come over here to the chart icon. We're gonna go ahead and we are gonna do a pie chart. And again, you can make it a little bit fancier if you want. You can do the 3D look, you can explode the pie chart, right? Again, 
that's something that if you want to play around with it, you can, but it's not necessary to get your point across. So we're going to go next. Title, we're going to do Sales by Manager. And we will go ahead and finish. And we can see all of the different sales by manager. So obviously in this example, it looks like Tom is doing pretty good. If you remember from our previous example, Stacy was kind of having a rough time. Let's suppose that we don't want to include one of our managers. Let's suppose that uh, just in this example, let's say Fred. Fred's sales are pretty low, but we know that he was taking a lot of paid time off. He was in a district that had a hurricane, whatever the case is, right? We want to discount his data. We don't want to include it on this chart. All we've got to do, we're simply going to go to this manager dropdown. And what we can do is if we uncheck Fred, what you'll see that disappears from the pie chart, his data is no longer included. The rest of the pie chart does indeed adjust. Just as we were able to manipulate the XY scatter chart to show emphasis or change things, we can do the exact same thing with the pie chart. So in this example, we have got Stacy, right? And let's suppose Stacy was doing really awesome with these sales, right? She really improved from last time. She's done with her training. She has made some massive improvements in sales, and we want to demonstrate that. What we're going to do is let's suppose we want to pull that slice of the pie chart out. All we have to do is we're going to click and then we're going to click on that specific slice of the pie chart. We can actually pull it out if we want to, or we can bring it back if we want to do that as well. We can change this single data point. So we're simply going to right click. We will format the data point and then we can change it to whatever the case we want to be. So if we want to make this purple, just to stand out, we can, right? We can change the chart, we can adapt it. Of course, here, if we want to add Fred back in, we can go to the manager icon, we can add Fred back in, just so we're seeing all of the different managers. Um, a lot of stuff here that we can do. And one last thing that I will show you is that we can insert the data labels. So right here, it says sales by manager, but it's kind of hard to quantify, right? Is Tom doing better than Stacy? Is he not doing better, right? The size of the slices kind of looks similar. If we want to actually put the numbers to the graph, all we have to do is right click. We are going to insert data labels and it's going to go ahead and it's going to just put those numbers on here. So it makes it a little bit easier for us to see what's going on. Um, obviously, this is just an overview of what you can do with these charts in LibreOffice Calc. You can do so much more to spice them up, to make them pretty. But in this video, I just wanted to show you the basics. So if you've got a presentation, if you've got a report coming up, you'll be able to to at least create a chart that gets your point across. You can do as much as you want later on to spice them up, but I hope this video has been useful for giving you the basics. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.